Hey you guys, I'm back just to give you an update. I'm at the end of phase two. Um, this is day seven of phase two. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I pick up with phase three, the reclaim phase. So phase two is pretty much called, phase two is release. And release is, I'm reading from the pamphlet for you guys real quick. You're completing eliminating um, animal products such as dairy, eggs, and meat, and you move into a more vegetable and fruit, whole grain based diet. Um, your breakfasts are pretty much fruit. Mm, and you want to stay on the lower sugar content of fruit. So your berries, melons, papayas, peaches, nectarines, and green apples. That's been the staple. Green apples versus red apples, I guess. So maybe your Granny Smith apples, you stick to that throughout the, um, the whole 21 days. Um, phase two has been been real enlightening in terms of foods that I never ate before or cooked it differently. Um, There's this one dinner that we had. I think it was sweet potato and roasted red pepper bisque. It's like a soup. It's so delicious. You got to try it. I know a couple of people um, that I'm doing it with have said that they won't try it at all just because they had it, you know, had some type of maybe the red peppers. They don't like it. So they won't try the entire recipe. They're missing out because it's sweet potato yams and that sweetness, delicious. Um, there's a few other ones with red beets. Who likes beets? Uh, I know I don't. So there's a couple recipes in throughout, I think phase one and phase two that we did beets and we cooked it totally different from maybe when you remember as a child. I When I bit into it, I was like scared at first and then when I taste, I was like, oh my goodness, I'll be adding this into my recipe book for sure. It was so good. So do try the red beets and just try stuff in general that you never tasted or maybe you don't like tomatoes and now you're kind of forcing yourself to eat it but you know you're not getting sick from it. I don't like tomatoes but I'm sitting here chopping them up, throwing in my salads or whatever we use them in and eating them. Sorry that's Kennedy. Okay Kenny hold on please. Um, there's different types of um, soups we do. Try Really, this is a program for you now to try because you're cooking it at home and for you to open up your eyes and palate to actually taste and see how it tastes to you because maybe it's been cooked differently for you now than before and you might actually like it and enjoy it. So, I say do it. There's this Koboka squash, which is out of season right now. It's winter time. But some stores may carry it, but I had to use butternut squash, which is an alternative, and that dinner was delicious. Um... That's pretty much it. This is end of phase two. Uh, I weigh in tomorrow, beginning of phase one. I'm sorry, phase three, day one. So I might do an extra video just to post um, how many pounds I had lost so far in um, the, the two weeks. Because I'm coming to the end, so it's all good. Sorry. I'm taking a break to see what's wrong. Okay, so after that little drama queen break. The um, phase two, you are taking the detox. Um supplement and let me tell you the alkalinize that I complained about in phase one was nasty this one takes the top position it is so nasty I don't care what you do it will not blend with your distilled water at all you can stir it you can probably blend it and it just settles to the bottom of your cup so ice water drink it fast um, you might have to take two or three sips because it is it's a lemony minty taste, but the fact that it has all like the graininess of everything that's in it, uh. So I I can do with the alkalinized any day, uh, which you do still take <laughs> once a day. But the detox you take three times every single day till the end of phase two. So I'm done with that now. Look. Okay, Kenny. So phase three, we do do another type of supplement, and I forget what that's called. But I'll talk about that then. But, and that's pretty much it, you guys.